Okay, um, back, uh, we'll get started here. I'm Scott, I'm Scotty. Uh, I didn't call myself the Backyard Renegade because I've done a lot of things from silkscreen to fixing things to building things, uh, diagnosing, whatever. I've, I've done so much stuff in my life, some silkscreen, leather work, boat building, whatever. Um, and I've done it myself. You know, I found ways to do it when other people wanted to charge me a lot of money to do it. So today, uh, what we're doing is we're working on part four. This is a 12-foot Sears game fisher that I picked up. Um, and um, it needed some huge repairs. Every time I dug into it, I found more and more and more that needed to come off of this thing. So I eventually ended up with a hole with a couple of pretty big holes in it that I got to patch up. And I wanted to come up with an innovative way to do that. So I'm going to show you what I've done here. And we're going to work it together today and see if it worked, right? Um, this is a fiberglass hull. So I'm going to be using epoxy resin and fiberglass to uh, repair it. Um, it's kind of touchy. Holes are designed to flex, so you want to build the patch to do like the hull, to be like the hull. But anyway, to start with what I've done here, and you can go back in my other videos and see that um, I've uh, cleaned all this up and I've really scored it up. I don't know if you can see that or not right here. Really scored this up with the grinder. And then what I did uh, on this one, I laid some tape around here just to stick to, and I'm masking it to build this right here you can see the the dip that's there. well that goes from here to there in this area where it got wrecked and up there it's just a v so anyway i'm just going to continue masking this off here like i said i put the green tape down so the masking tape would stick the masking tape's a little stiffer that's kind of why i'm using it here and i'm trying to build this rounded edge right there right like that you know i want to there we go, just like that, see? Um, no, that's going to be wrong there. So I'm going to put that in. I'm going to wrap this right into that corner here. Like that. There we go. This is like 30 or 40, 50 year old tape from my mom, who is quite an artist. But that's what the Backyard Renegade's all about, you know? I'm going to do stuff. You don't have to spend a lot of money. I picked up this boat cheap. I'm going to fix it for 50 75 bucks, And I'm going to have a good, safe little boat for me and my family out on the water. And this will be good as new when I'm done with it. The fiberglass uh, that I'm going to put on is going to be a lot stronger than what was there initially. And... If I do my job right, it'll stick well. It won't pull up like the old patches. You can go up through the uh, the other videos that I did on this, parts one, two, and three, and especially in part one, and see uh, the kind of patches that were in here and how easily they just kind of popped out. But, you know, this is a, a Facebook, you know, find, like I said, uh, Facebook marketplace. I paid a little bit too much for it. I didn't realize it was this much damage And at the same time, I kind of figured it'd be a great project to stream as my first real backyard stream So we'll see what happens with it, right? Let's see if I can make this settle down there. There we go. Okay, um Yeah I just want to be able to lay some fiberglass over the top of this and let it harden. And then we'll actually pull this tape out of here um, and just let it go, you know. Uh, we'll pull this tape out and, and glass the inside. Uh, but anyways, you can see what I'm doing here. I wish I had some thicker masking tape. But again, part of my thing is always trying to do with what you got to work with. 
take advantage of what you've got right in your own house or in your own backyard as it were and this tape only has to hold up long enough to allow me to just kind of paint a little bit of epoxy over the top of it and let it harden and then I can paint some uh, resin I mean some fiberglass cloth into it and then But again, while we're here doing this, I'll talk, we're going to use uh, an adhesive epoxy resin. We're not going to try to use a laminating uh, resin like polyester. It's just for a different thing. This boat was probably made with polyester, um, but, uh, but we don't necessarily want to try to stick to it with polyester because again it's not adhesive so we're going to use epoxy i'm sorry i'm losing myself here we're going to use epoxy we want to create a chemical bond when we when we when we adhere to this hull and um epoxy will do that uh, again polyester won't so and we also scored it up to get a good mechanical bond too i'm just kind of backing this up I, I've never seen this done. I've never done this. This is a whole new uh, attempt for me here at creating this form. And we'll see what happens. I debated whether leaving this out. Total boat. I've never used them before. I got their stuff this time. Um, you know, I've watched a couple of their videos. And it looks like they got the right frame of mind. So anyway, total boat. That's whose epoxy and stuff I'm using. Yeah, see? Nice. It's kind of neat. I can build right over that. And I don't know if you can really see, but I'm just going to build right over that. And build out to where it's supposed to be out to here. I think it's going to be just fine. That's going to work out. I'm kind of liking it. I'm kind of liking it. Yeah. And I'll build with fiberglass. And it'll be so much stronger than the original. And it'll grind right out and be inert. I'm going to do the same thing up in the front piece here. But sorry. Is anybody? You see where I left my phone? Is anybody in chat? No. Okay. Nobody watching. Oh well. Someday I'll be able to show somebody what I do. <laughs> And, uh, <laughs> I'm just putting this green tape down a little bit and it'll peel off um, when we finish with it. Again, I'm just trying to <coughs> build some build up on the outside here and not too thick on the inside Again, I apologize for the breathing, folks. I uh, I have lots of lung issues. I smoked when I was younger. Stupid. And so you'll hear me breathing hard a lot and heavy and puffing and puffing when I'm working out here. 
the stream was a little late I went and did a quick breathing treatment beforehand just to hopefully be able to do this all in one take And uh, this tape uh, will become inert, whatever's left of it after the layup. I'm assuming I'll be able to peel most of it off as long as I seal it well enough that it doesn't get around behind it. And if not, I don't think it'll create any issues. Um, anything I see in there that's big enough to create an issue, um, I'll grind down. <sighs> And again, this is just to kind of build a form for so I can have something to lay on the outside and begin my layup on the outside. And I'll show you that in a minute here. You get a good look at the backyard. <laughs> yeah. There we go. And I'll fill all that in. Yeah. That's that. set you down for a minute chat if you don't mind all right so anyways that's what we did. We just kind of built a form in there for now. And we're going to come over here. Oh, well, let me, let me reset here.
Oh, forgot the back of the boat. Sorry about that. One more quick area to do in here. So it looks like I did that last night, but I did it with clear tape. <laughs> so I didn't remember. That's all right. So I'm gonna flip this boat and turn it around. And see what we can do. Sorry folks, I'm a little slow. I'm in Connecticut, United States, Northeast. It's pretty hot here today. And of course, the humidity is a big thing. So here we go. All right. Give you a little bit better view. Uh, this is not really a technique that uh, I've seen in a lot of places. Uh, I thought about carving a foam form. Thought about cardboard. You know, I want to give it a try. It's the easiest for sure. I'm using epoxy so it shouldn't eat the tape. Should be no reason it shouldn't work. Uh, I just needed enough under there so I'm not throwing epoxy in. I'll lay some epoxy down, let it harden a little bit, and then I'll just start laying fiberglass over it. Gotta tuck it in there a little bit. But you can see what I did, I just, took uh, you know, masking tape and and used it to build up inside and then I'm just gonna go ahead and fill the outside and uh, we'll go from there so that gives you a little bit of a look I'm gonna take one peek and see if I could fix that little corner um, just so I don't have as much to grind off inside And of course I, there we go, drop the thing here. All right, so here we go. There's this, is that there? Good, okay. Uh.
Okay. That should about do it. Yeah, that's a little better. All right. I guess it's time to stop fooling around. I'm going to jump into this. Uh, haven't worked with epoxy in about 15 years. But, uh, yeah. I think I remember. Gotcha. We're still looking? All right. So that's what we're looking at. That's what you got. Okay, so I guess it's time to jump right to it. Excuse me. Got some acetone to clean up a little bit with. Put on the mask and the gloves. I know. If I can do it 64 years old with COPD in 90 degree weather for my kids, you can do it for yours. Oh, you can probably see me right in the mirror, right there, right? Eye protection if you don't have glasses. And gloves. I know, it's horrible. Trust me. But you want to be able to do it for a few years, right? You don't want to get sensitized to epoxy and you can't use it anymore. Constant exposure, you can develop an allergy. And that counts when you're breathing in and everything. Okay, now we're going to mix the epoxy, this is the most important part. Alright. 
Gonna talk about epoxy resin for a minute. <laughs> this is a two to one mixture, which means that uh, one pump here is two parts because I'm using a pre mix system. The blue pump is two parts, the red pump is one part. With epoxy, the the mix has to be exact as possible. With polyester, you put in hardener, it sets it off as a catalyst, and it goes. With epoxy, every two molecules in this particular mixture of epoxy must touch one molecule of hardener to be at its most effective. So if you have only 80% of your hardener, that means 20% or so of your epoxy isn't going to fully harden. And that's why they tell you you got to mix for a full two minutes. It seems crazy, but trust me, you just do it. Don't fool around with mixing the epoxy. It's not as strong as it can be. So I'm going to go one here, one, two pumps here. That's it. Now I'm going to stir this. You know what? I'm going to go four. Three, four, one, two, okay. It's 146. Hey, Jess. Oh, crew. Sorry about that. I don't want to get a DCMA or whatever. I actually did once before. My alarm is uh, Ziggy Stardust by David Bowie. And uh, yeah. So, anyways. Again, the uh, mixing the epoxy is so important. Don't skip on the time. I've got the uh, medium hardener for medium speed. You can get fast hardener, slow hardener, and you can mix them. When I was really building a lot of boats and not using fiberglass for structure, just this, I would mix my hardeners based on the day and um, you know, how fast, how hot it was, how humid it was outside, and how fast I wanted it to dry for whatever part of the product I was working on, or cure, you know, so. But the thing about epoxy is it is an adhesive. Don't try to use polyester resin for a repair like this. Um, it's not an adhesive, it's for laminating, and it doesn't stick. And again, you, know, you gotta go back over my other, ta uh, my other videos on this boat. I really, uh, went to town with the uh, with the grinding it up real well. You know, grinding it off and scouring up the edges where it's gonna go. So this has been mixed. I'm gonna mix it some more with the brush. And I'm gonna start filling it. Nice and thin. This seems silly. Once this hardens, I'll go ahead and I'll put, uh, start putting fiberglass cloth down. And then I'll just, from the other side, I'll grind this out after. I'll grind the tape out and continue here. Well, what I'm doing is I'm just kind of laying some 
on here when that hardens it'll be a little bit hard there it'll be fine that'll give me a place to start actually laying down the fiberglass tape that I want to lay down here There we go. Now, we're going to do four more. One, two, three, four. And again, with epoxy, that really has to be exact. And I'm actually counting in my head at least a minute and a half to two minutes uh, of mixing time for this stuff. And this one, I'm going to put some thickener in. I'm going to show you this. You can look at it there. It's Cabasil. Um, it's very lightweight. Wait until you see this stuff. You open the jar, it just floats into the air like a cloud. It's hard to sand. I've also got some wood flour there next to it in the system. Three is wood flour, which isn't regular sawdust. It's hundreds of times finer than sawdust and made specifically for filling with epoxy as, as a filler. What do I got, about 35 seconds now? Make sure it's all off the sides real good. This is so important with epoxy. I can't stress it enough. You know, uh, wear your gloves. I just, I can't stress it enough. Mix it, mix it, mix it. Make sure it's all the way mixed. I got, what, a minute 15 now? Not enough, all right. This is Cabasil. <laughs> Check this stuff out. I don't know if you can see that. It's just a thick agent for the epoxy. Right? There we go. That's what I want. Almost. Tiny bit more. Once you get close, this stuff goes a long way and then just turns it into paste. So you got to be really careful. There we go. It's starting to heat up here in this pot. Now I got to get it out. It's starting to get hot. So.
Yes. Oh. I'm going to try something here, chat. See if I can make this uh All right, uh, I'm gonna let that dry and we'll come back and we'll start working on it some more. chat so anyways I'll show you one time what we did I built a form as you can see the other videos I cleaned everything up really good then I built a form inside here with tape to mimic the shape of the bolt which is like this up in the front here the damage area you can see the other tapes was cut out was here and here on that transition um, what I've done is I set the form in, clean the outside real good, and I went ahead and covered this on the outside here with thickened fiberglass resin. Now I'm assuming it'll harden on the tape, and then I'll just start laying more resin down, and glass layers and glass layers and glass this side in. I'll go to the other side, I'll peel the tape off, grind what's left, um, and do the same thing on the inside. Grind it down, prepare it, and put three or four layers of glass on the inside out to about here. And that should form a nice solid, solid patch on this hole here where it was damaged. But uh, bear with me for a second here. And in a few minutes, I'm gonna turn the boat over and I'm gonna do the back the same way. I'm just gonna lay some goo down in those holes. And then next time we come out, we will go ahead and start laying fiberglass on top of that. That could be later today, unless I decide to go swimming, which is a real good possibility. But anyways.
sorry, I'm just thinking here about flipping this because I do not want to damage the work that I did. But anyways, all right, I'm going to end the stream here. And we'll be back for another stream when it's time to really lay the glass on. Have a good day, chat.